are going to look at some conditional probability um, examples. Conditional probability is when you have a condition on your problem. So you're just still choosing one usually, um, but you're given a condition. Like um, an example would be, you know you drew a red card. Now what's the probability of it being a king? Um, that's a condition. You've got the condition of it being red. Um, and then you're asking yourself a probability. So we're going to do a chart. Uh, problem with conditional probability because that's what you usually see. Um, and so this is like a medical test result, test that is being taken and we can either have a positive result or we can have a negative result. And in the study, um, we know whether the condition is uh, present or absent. So we're, we're looking at just kind of the sensitivity of the test, how good it is with this. So this says the condition is present, and this says it is absent. So in this study, um, there are 110 people who got a positive result when the condition was present. So that's kind of how this chart is being laid out. There are 20 people who got a negative result but still had the condition present, so a wrong test result. Okay. There are 20 people right here who did not have the condition but still got a positive result, so that's wrong. And then there are 50 who have the condition absent and got a negative result. So um, this is used a lot when we're testing whether um, a medical test is, is good or not. Okay. So let's look at some probabilities considering this. Like, what is the probability that we get a positive result given that the, te that the condition here that is being tested is present? So we know that this patient has this condition. What is the probability that the test would reveal a positive result? This is a conditional probability. I know something about um, the problem before I'm really solving it. I know that the condition is present. Now what's the probability that it's positive? Um, I'm going to kind of walk through two different ways we can do this. One is just kind of thinking through and looking at it, and another is using the conditional probability formula. So we'll start with just kind of looking at it. I almost like this a little bit better, and, and students tend to as well, just kind of being able to, to think through and process through this problem um, versus the formula, which can be a little bit confusing and hard to remember. Um, so we know that this condition is present, that means we know we are out of these people. We know we have the, the condition. So these people are out of the study. They're out of this problem because we didn't draw one of them. We know we didn't draw one of them. We knew we draw, drew somebody that has the condition. Um, so we, we're not out of the whole number of people here. There's 200 people that were tested here. Um, we're just out of these 130 people where the condition was present. Okay? And we want the probability of the positive result. So given that we're here, what's the probability of a positive result? Well, there were 110 that tested positive. So we really have 110 out of the 130 people where the condition was present. And we reduce that fraction. So 11 out of 13 here. Okay, pretty simple. We just know this is here. We isolate it and we do it out of just the 130 people who have the condition. Okay. Um, if we wanted to use the formula, let me write up the conditional probability formula. I use a B, sorry. Okay, what's the probability of B given A? We take the probability of A and B over the probability of A. So this is the conditional probability formula. It does work in this case as well. Um, so let's look at it. The probability of A and B in this case would be the probability that the, te this, that the person tested positive and the condition was present. We are out of everybody if we are dealing with this formula. So let me remove this box. We are out of all 200 people. So when we're using the formula, um, we have to be out of everyone. We're not isolating this. That's why I removed that box. Um, but we are out of everyone, all 200 people here. So the probability of A and B here would be the overlap between um, positive and 
present, be these 110 people, they have the condition and they got a positive result. So there's 110 of them. There are um, probability of A and B, there are 200 people here. So it has to be a probability. So it's going to be a fraction up here on the top um, and we're out of everyone. Okay, so that's a probability of A and B. And then the probability of A, the probability that um, the condition is present. So that is all of these people, the probability that they're present. All these people have the condition, so it's 130. Still out of the whole 200. And then this reduces, because of the common 200, this reduces to 110 out of 130 and then 11 out of 13. Okay, so that should be a good example of conditional probability using a, a table. Great, thank you.